Jordi Salvitiera. College of the Canyons has always hosted its graduation as one unified ceremony. However, this year the college is breaking tradition, splitting the ceremony into a morning and evening event for the whopping 2,119 graduates. I spoke with Campus Life and Student Engagement Director Kelly Dapp to ask why this change was made. With deciding to go to two ceremonies, it's something that I think the faculty have pushed for um, for several years, but, you know, uh, probably what impacted that decision the most is back in 2019, um, when we had, you know, just one in-person ceremony, we had close to 900, actually, I think it was like almost 950 graduates that participated in that ceremony act. And so we wanted to kind of take a look at things and, and um, do things a little bit different this time. While for many students, splitting the ceremony will result in a better graduation, the divided campus might end up damaging the experience of our student athletes. I would imagine that with very few exceptions, those athletes would like to graduate together. They'd like to celebrate together. So volleyball is a, a relatively small squad. So on any given year, we probably have between five and 10 sophomores. But when you think about some of the larger teams like football or maybe track and field or, um, you know, they, they could have 20 or more, maybe 30 athletes that are graduating and going through the ceremony. The way that the schedule is structured, it's my understanding that one will be held in the morning on Friday and then the other will be held in the evening on Friday. And so it just sort of makes for a long day. For Canyons News, Jed I'm Gabriel Jacob Schneider. Cabarello.